Today we're going to be training the fire department on how to drive and operate a tractor drone aerial. This is by far the most maneuverable piece of equipment that we can operate in the National Fire Service. Being in the back of this apparatus is one of the coolest places to be. You're Cinderella at the ball. Everybody's looking at you. When the tractor or the front of the apparatus moves one way, the till operator is going to steer the trailer opposite. You're able to get in and out of places that you couldn't with some of the engines. What we want to do is train them how to be efficient, but really more importantly, how to drive this apparatus safely as they navigate through their district or through their response area. So the students will go through five different rodeos through our training. One of our rodeos uh, is designed to create an artificial environment where they're turning quite a bit. The speeds are gonna be much higher than normal, but we do that artificially in a controlled environment. We need that tail operator to be actually steering a lot so they can start to build that muscle memory. And that's so critical in them becoming comfortable taking this skill set out onto the street. And the great thing about cones and pylons is we can hit them. And in some ways, we want them to hit them because when they do that, they are able to build spatial awareness. The next time they come around, they can actually figure out where they are. We'd much rather have them hit the pylons and cones rather than real objects in the street. Do you think it's, it was helpful for you to hit that cone? Yeah, because I got a better idea of when to start. Right, then you're starting to develop that spatial awareness, and the next time you come around, then you can change up where you are on that. So you just, you just snagged it a little bit, which is fine. The next time you go around and see where you are here. And this was perfect. Okay. By using wireless headsets, we have the capability of seeing this apparatus in a different way. So if we're away 30, 50 yards, we can see the driver, we can see the till operator, their heads, are they in the mirrors? And really what we're able to do is we're able to listen to what they're saying to each other and then make corrections or reinforce good habits. It's huge for us and it's changed the way we actually do training. I think I started turning out too soon. Okay. And so then I had to correct it back in, which then pulled. Right. So if that happens, creep, 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 and then dry steer, okay? okay? Okay, as, as long as you understand what happened, that's the point here. Okay, good, go ahead. So rather than stopping the rig, we can just talk to them as if we're sitting right next to them. From this far over, you were real tight on that, on the inside. Yeah. So the more you can push out, the better it's gonna be for him. For us, it's really important to teach our students not only how to operate this, but why they're operating the way they need to. Having this piece of equipment allows the department the ability to get into tighter situations and potentially be able to make rescues that they wouldn't be able to get other pieces of equipment too. Yeah.